Donald Trump called out the guy on Fox News Governor Chris Sununu even though the anti-Trump Republican said he would vote for him over Democrat Joe Biden, RadarOnline.com has learned. Trump aired his grievances in typical fashion, a truth social rant, on Monday morning, which marked the start of the Republican presidential primary. Trump's rage was sparked by the New Hampshire governor's weekend appearance on Fox News and CNN, in which he told host Caitlin Collins that he would remain loyal to his party and vote for the ex-president over Biden if the two faced off in the general election. Sununu has been a vocal opponent of Trump and previously endorsed former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley. While Sununu said he would vote for Trump on CNN, he also called out the GOP frontrunner during his Fox News interview for refusing to debate other candidates and predicted he would lose if he were to win the party's nomination. Sununu's words did not sit well with Trump and like numerous times before, the ex-president took to his social media platform to bash the governor. Just watch the guy, on Fox News, of course, who ran for president, but never had the guts to announce that he was doing so, Trump began his rant. Trump proceeded to slam Sununu's polling record and attacked fellow candidate Haley while he was at it. He was polling so low, including in his state of New Hampshire, that he correctly took a pass on formally getting in. He wouldn't have had a chance, and now he's politically dead. His name is Chris Sununu, and he is the now very unpopular governor of New Hampshire who endorsed Nikki Birdbrain Haley, who is seldom able to beat crooked Joe Biden in the polls, and will never beat the Democrat Party in reality. While Trump's issue was with Sununu, Former New Jersey governor and fellow anti-Trump Republican Chris Christie was not safe from his attacks either. Sununu is Chris Christie, without the weight, Trump wrote. He does lots of television, and just spews out false fact after false fact. He knows Nikki is way down in her home state of South Carolina, just as he was to me in New Hampshire. Trump concluded his truth social tirade by claiming Haley was a globalist who would end social welfare programs, raise taxes and weaken Second Amendment rights. She is an unwanted globalist who is weak on the border, and will always be willing to obliterate Social Security and Medicare, while at the same time raising your taxes and endangering you already under siege Second Amendment. 